Finally, Lord Sheagorath has sent someone to assist me. But where are my manners? <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> Welcome to Zedillion. I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. A wonder of engineering, is it not? Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. Ever since that wretched gatekeeper was made, Zedillion became redundant. It fell into disrepair and was eventually all but forgotten. After only a few years passed, the Grumites began moving in. Ghastly things. They mistook the focus crystals for some sort of religious symbols and removed them from their rightful places. This rendered the Resonator inert and Zedillion completely useless. Luckily, you came along and placed Zedillion back into operation. Yes, yes, I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the attenuator, then Sheagorath must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the resonator chamber. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. The only thing we can do is let the adventurers complete a cycle through here. I'll be glad to help. I assume Sheagorath gave you the Manual of Zedillion. You can consult it for more information, or I can provide instructions. I will be happy to describe each chamber and explain the event that unfolds as we proceed through Zedillion. This first chamber is the Chamber of the Nar. At the touch of a button, you can cause a large group of tiny gnarls to appear and attack the adventurers. Or, if you're feeling merciful, we can have the group terrorized by a seemingly lowly gnarl that instantly grows to twice their size. The hallucinogenic spore gas we release into the chamber will help lull the victims into believing the creature means to kill them. Don't worry. Its bark is far worse than its bite. <laughs> the Resonator works by drawing adventurers to itself with a sort of magical siren's call. Sheagorath uses the Resonator to find the cream of the crop, as he calls them, the best of the worst to populate the isles. Quite clever, eh? As the adventurers make their way through Zedillion's chambers, they will encounter choices that you make in these control platforms. All you need to do is decide what becomes of the adventurers. Will you drive them insane, or will you pull the life from their bodies? Simple. Wait until the adventurers are in position, and then press a button. If they survived, they will proceed to the next chamber, and so on. It's really quite ingenious. You'll know you're done when they lie dead on the ground or they are out of their minds. Of course, any of their possessions you wish to keep are yours for the taking. I'll make sure you get them when you're done. Well, the dead will be disposed of. Have no fear. That's my job. Those that are lucky enough to merely go insane will be granted a place in the Shivering Isles as a permanent resident. Each chamber presents two options. When you push the appropriate button, an event will unfold for the adventurers to experience. One is physically harmful, usually lethal traps or creatures, something relished by the residents of Dementia. The other choice is more mental. They are designed to make the adventurers lose their grip on reality, much like the residents of Mania. Of course, the introduction of spore gas with the Mania choices helps as well. 
As you wish. What else can I answer for you? So good to be back in business. Now keep your weapons ready and watch your backs. Do what I say, we might just get out of here alive. Horrid guardians of which the stories spoke? Be careful. There may be more to this creature than meets the eye. What a joke. Let's be rid of this thing and continue on our way. Are my eyes playing tricks? Or is the creature By the growing? gods, when will it stop? It could devour us Run for your lives! Get back here, you cards. Something's not right. All this time, it was merely an illusion. How clever. Wait, what's wrong with Lewin? It makes no sense. Should be d dead. But what the... Oh. I think this place got to him. Perhaps we should leave. No, we'll pick him up on the way out. He must fend for himself. Watching them run from the giant gnarl gets me every time. What can I assist you with? You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. Huge tree. Go, 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 go. Kill us all. <laughs> Watching. What can I? You're doing quite well so far. Huge. Keep it up. Tree. Going, 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 going to kill us all. No, nowhere to run. Mad. Tree. Must <laughs> What can I assist you with? The second chamber of Zedillium is the Chamber of Avarice. The adventurers will have to overcome their feelings of greed as they set their eyes upon the huge piles of treasure locked behind that gate. You may choose to spring a fire trap and cause them great harm as they stand before the gate. Or you can fill the chamber with hundreds of keys and watch them frantically search for the correct one. Always a crowd pleaser. You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. Look, I told you. Treasure. Let's have at it, Sindelius. Is locked. Grumok, be careful. This looks too good to be true. If only Lewin were here, he could get us through this in no time. We'll have to fend for ourselves. Do you think you can pry the door open? Forget it. This is obviously a trick. Let's get out of here. To be so close, and yet so far. If only we had the key. Wait, do you hear something? One of them must open the gate. We're rich. Let's get out of here, Sindelius. This is obviously a trick to waste our time. I'll know it when I see it. Yes, it must be here. 
They're all fake. Just come with me now. Find it, yes. I must find the key. Rich beyond all my dreams. <laughs> ah, suit yourself. I see Lord Sheagorath chose wisely when he selected you to liberate Zedillion. Now, how may I continue to assist you? You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. Gold, gems, keys, all... <laughs> Too bad none of those keys fit the lock. <laughs> what can I assist you with? The third chamber of a Zedillion is the Chamber of Anathema. Its contents are designed to make sure it's the final encounter. The adventurers will be subject to horrors beyond their imagination. Visions of repugnance, death, and malevolence reside in this room. If you wish to bring ruin to your victims, you may choose to animate some of the corpses and watch as they satiate their hunger. Or, we can create the illusion of the adventurer's dying and his spirit rising from his corpse. Good fun to be had for all! Then, just as suddenly as we kill him, we revive the adventurer. There are few minds that can stand this type of torture. You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. Steady, Grimok, steady. You've been through worse before. What more could this place possibly throw at you? What? How in oblivion can I be dead? This... this is impossible. Nothing killed me. I didn't even get a chance to fight. No chance to defend myself? No chance for battle? Why? Who? Impossible. This is impossible. Grimok has never lost a fight. Never. Impossible. This is impossible. You've made short work of the intruders. Sheagorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. Now, if you'll step on the last teleporter pad, I will meet you in the reception chamber so we can recover your earnings. I'm afraid you've exhausted Zedillion's resources. This was the final chamber. Not to worry. We'll have your spoils to you in no time at all. in the reception chamber. As is the tradition, you are to be awarded a focus crystal as a token of your fine work. I'll have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a look at it. 
Oh, yes, of course. It seems a most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Dromok. Never seen anything like it, but perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Beyond that, take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You've earned it. You're free to go at any time, of course, just up that hallway. Good luck to you. That was quite a battle. I hope you are uninjured. You've not heard the legends? How could that be? Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known as the Knights of Order. Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the Isles they seem to have an affinity for. You must proceed to Sher Gorath at once and tell him the knights have returned. Quickly now, go! I am the Master Smith of New Sheoth. Always a good idea to protect yourself. I can help with that. I can accept. I can. You got a good deal there. Seems a fair bargain to me. I can accept that. I can accept that. Seems a fair bargain to me. I can accept that. If you need anything else... Goodbye. Look who's here. You! How about that? 